Hey, this is Sander from Zen Space Makers, zenlofts.com, zenlofts.com, loftbeds.com. We've been uh, making a loft bed here. It's a pretty big size loft bed. We've got this frame here. And part of the trick is that we're gonna suspend it from the ceiling. So what we did today is we opened up this old ceiling, this town, old town home in Brooklyn. It's about 114 years old. And uh, it's got a drop ceiling down here, but we connected our two by six, kind of an I-beam here. We connected it into the old wood joists. So it's really well tied in. There's even some construction adhesive and uh, some exterior grade roofing screws with the star head. And uh, then we did our precise measurements. We're gonna drop a threaded rod down from this I-beam and connect it exactly in this spot right here. It's a half inch threaded rod with a big foot. And uh, we're gonna shoot a video today and give you a kind of a blow by blow as this baby comes together. We're gonna do install it all today in an afternoon. We've got our level lines and our glue on the wall. We're gonna attach it to the studs. And uh, we've already connected the, the pieces of framing together. These were finished in the shop with a whitewash finish. And there's glue and bolts. And uh, just for easy transport, we made it in two pieces, you see, and then we pulled it together with a girder for rigidity there. That's what that is there. So we bolts together here and uh, here. Yeah, cool. All right. Okay, so we got the framing in now, and we got the threaded rod in. Uh, we had to kind of disassemble this and then put it back together, so we got to reconnect, re make reconnections here. But it's perfectly level, uh, both this way and that way. And uh, uh, this didn't come out perfectly plumb. We measured carefully, so that's okay. I'm just gonna get back up in there and adjust so that this is perfectly plumb, straight up and down. And uh, it's about two-ish. PM, I think so. We're gonna like be wrapped up here by five. So uh, let's um, let me move this. It'll probably take five minutes to make that adjustment. Uh, I know where my screws are. They're way up there in the hot, hot rooftop insulated area. Uh, and uh, then we can start finishing and get the job done. All right, cool. Okay, now we're pretty much done. And uh, this is the loft. It's got a whitewash finish. This is a solid poplar railing that we did. We made it in the shop. Did a little joinery there, because uh, the, the joinery in here, so this piece is like one inch and this piece is three quarters. So these pieces join in and they create this nice little gap there. I think that's kind of cool, cool effect. She wanted it to be really modern and uh, didn't really like some of the wild edge stuff we do with hardwoods like cherry and walnut. So I said, okay, we'll just do a poplar and then give everything a whitewash finish. This has got kind of a semi-distressed whitewash finish uh, on a birch ply. And we, yeah, we fixed that threaded rod so now it's perfectly plumb up and down. And uh, Brian is putting on a clear coat on the ship's ladder. We always do ship ladder, ship's ladders with dados, so that there's a notch in there. Get that, get that little, uh, so there's a notch there, so it's really strong, so the steps won't move anywhere. And we always make little handles, so it's ergonomic. And then, yeah, you can look up here, there's the loft, lovely birch floor, it's a clear coat lacquer. Uh, we always do that, we always have clear birch floors on the deck. The decking is really strong and nice. And yeah, and underneath the loft, you can see we also did that whitewash finish. It has a nice contrast with the uncoated birch underlayment. And uh, yeah, and they, they really love it, and uh, we're done. So we're just packing up now, cleaning up. And we got done on time. We installed this thing in uh, one day. Cool. So, Sander Hicks here for Zen Space Makers Incorporated. We'll see you next time.